everyone, welcome back to The List. Got your heart set on someone this Valentine's Day, but too shy to say so? A local bakery to the rescue. Jimmy Rhodes has the top stories people are sharing around the day. At number one, is Detroit for lovers or haters? There's a sweet way to cast your vote. At Avalon International Breads in Midtown, you can choose heart-shaped cookies with letters that stand for common romantic phrases. Some upbeat, some cynical. For the lovers in the D, how about RMW for Rock My World? And LYF for Love You Forever. And for the less than loving, HAS for Happy and Single, and YHYC for you had your chance. So who's in the lead, the lovers or the haters? People who won't buy the hater cookies because they want a lover cookie. So what does L-I-S-T stand for? Let me know at the list, Jimmy. And number two, shack up this Valentine's Day weekend and go ice fishing. The Michigan DNR is waiving fishing licenses for the weekend on lakes around the state, including Seven Lakes State Park, the Bald Mountain Rec Area in Oakland County, and the Waterloo Rec Area in Washtenaw County. Yeah, ice fishing is typically considered just for guys, but this weekend you can snuggle up with that special someone and maybe bring home a fishtail for the record books. And number three, we're heading to Groves High School in Beverly Hills for this week's Student Reporter Partnership with The List. I'm Ariana Ramey, a junior from Groves High School, where students learn important skills through a number of unique programs. Ropes courses are among the activities in the National Resources class, which help students develop their own personal natural resources, such as trust, leadership, empathy, and communication. The Walk a Mile project asks teens to walk a mile in someone else's shoes. They are partnered with a fellow student and after two days, share their experiences. Seeing that with Phil, there's a lot more than meets the eye. He's very like a clean cut guy, but he's actually very adventurous and thrill seeking. And that was really interesting to see about him. It, it really makes you tolerant to other people's ways. Um, I learned that Kara is way more like me than I thought she was. Now you're caught up and clued in around the D.